Hello everyone, myself Sridhar Magdum, working as a senior simulation specialist at Adonix Technologies Private Limited. Here we'll have a quick overview on simulation tips and tricks. Here we'll have a look on setting up the default settings and setting up the simulation results templates. In default settings, we'll have a walkthrough with respect to the flaws and the unit systems. So you can switch to the simulation default options by using the simulation options. Here from the default options, you could able to set the unit systems as SI, IPS and metric system. Unit length you could change according to your requirement and the stress values to mega fast girl or else PSI. We have the interaction options the linear static study is bonded by default you can even set the surface to surface contacts for the bonded formulation as well as the contact formulation for the loads and fixtures you can able to change the symbol colors for the fixture it is green and for the pressure it is kind of red and the force pink you can change accordingly if you are looking for these settings for the mesh we have the by default second order element high quality uh, mesh and the Jacobian point 0.16 that you can even vary. Mesh type is by default standard. You can set it to blended curvature based mesh. And if you want, you can activate this remesh failed parts independently. You don't need to again remesh by using the options manually. Okay. Uh, these are the two options that is render beam profiles if you are dealing with the beam elements that will automatically render it accordingly solver uh, i prefer by default automatic so that is fine so you can even define the uh, subfolder inside the uh, folders to save the results so it will not disturb your default folder from the flat we have the chart options you can set these default options for the uh, numerical format, you can set the uh, best option that is general and number of decimal points to 5 or 4 by default so that you can have the uh, clear understanding of the numerical values. And we have the uh, color options. You can see the uh, different options here with respect to the uh, requirement. You can go ahead with the uh, grayscale. We have the default options and the rainbow options. Okay. So I'll go ahead with the uh, default options, even you can customize as per your requirement there. Fine. So we have the uh, different float settings. Let's say if I go to the static studies, we have the by default uh, float one with respect to the stress, float two the displacement, float three the strain. So if you want one more float that is factor of safety, you can simply right click and you can select the new float and there you can set it to factor of safety so while creating any study by default it will create the four flaws okay so these are the few uh, different options there yeah now we'll have a look on uh, setting up the simulation uh, results templates so once you switch to the uh, results plot with respect to stress here we have the edit definition option here you can customize your entire chart options as well as the deformation shape and the inner system so here in the chart options as i explained before you can set these options that to show maximum and minimum annotations by default and here we have the general options and if i just switch to the uh, decimal numbers up to five and you can see the changes accordingly the point stress results will change so this is how it gonna look like before it was quite difficult to read the uh, floods so now if you set it up with respect to the uh, templates you could able to read it properly and you can just compare how exactly it gonna help us to just uh, deal with the uh, flood results that's all thank you